It's a raccoon with a talk show slinging culture facts you might not know from the biggest flops to the greatest hits. This is Trash Can Tidbits. Hi, everybody. I'm Beaton, and welcome back to my show, Trash Can Tidbits. Last week, I asked the question, what was the name of the Jack Russell Terrier who played Jack the Dog in The Artist? The answer is, Uggie. In addition to the artist, Uggie was also featured in the film Water for Elephants, where he appeared alongside Robert Pattinson and Reese Witherspoon. He became a bona fide superstar after his appearance in The Artist, with critics saying he steals the spotlight in every scene that he appears in. While it's true that he did have two stunt dogs, most of the tricks you see him performing were done by him. He sadly passed away in 2015 at the age of 13. Now, this week on TCT, I'm doing another themed list, but one with a twist. I'm going to be talking about 10 foxy facts. These facts pertain to various vulpines from the world of animation, video games, and movies. I hope you enjoy me switching things up a bit, so let's get saucy and foxy with fact number one. Did you know that a deleted animated sequence from a previous live-action Disney movie was retooled into another Disney movie? In Treasure Island, which was Disney's first live-action movie with no animation in it whatsoever, there was to have been an animated sequence where the Long John Silver character was telling a story to Jim Hawkins about the character Renard the Fox. Walt Disney ultimately decided that there should be no animation in the movie at all because it would have distracted from the storyline. Many years later, the concept of Reynard as an animated feature was revisited, but when Walt pointed out that Reynard was a villainous character, the story was reworked into Robin Hood instead. Fact 2. Did you know that Nick Wilde's middle name is a reference to Star Trek? In Zootopia, Nick's middle initial is P, which is never explored in the film itself, but the directors have confirmed that it stands for Piberius. This is a direct homage to Captain James Tiberius Kirk from Star Trek. Obviously, the directors were Star Trek fans and wanted to include this. Fact 3. Did you know that most of the Wes Anderson movie Fantastic Mr. Fox was recorded on location? Seeing that this was Anderson's first animated movie and is full of his trademark eccentricity, it made sense for the overall environment to include naturalistic sounds. Anderson took the entire cast and crew on location to various outdoor locales such as a farm, a forest, and even underground, and recorded much of the dialogue for the film there. So, for example, whenever there's a scene that takes place outside on a farm, George Clooney is actually acting outside on a farm with a microphone in his face. Fact 4. Did you know that Honest John for Pinocchio was originally going to have a third encounter with Pinocchio that would have resulted in his arrest? In the movie, Pinocchio encounters Honest John and Gideon twice, the first when they convince him to become an actor, and the second time when they lure him to Pleasure Island. There was to have been a third encounter with them after Pinocchio escaped from Pleasure Island, where he rejects another proposal from them, which results in their immediate arrest. The movie unfortunately does not show the duo getting their comeuppance, so they remain out and about by the time the Pleasure Island scene begins and for the rest of the movie, though we never see them again, so it's speculated on what happened to them after that. Fact 5. Did you know that Fox McCloud from Star Fox was evidently based on Shigeru Miyamoto himself as well as a Japanese god? Not far from Nintendo's headquarters is a Japanese temple called Fushimi Inari Taisha, which has hundreds of red gates to pass through. It's a shrine to the Japanese god Inari, which is a fox or kitsune deity. Foxes are apparently very popular in Japan. If you look closely at an Inari statue, they could be seen wearing a red scarf, which Fox wears in the game. The red gates also served as an inspiration for the obstacles in the game the character can fly through. Personality-wise, Fox was based on Miyamoto himself, a go-getter, ambitious, and a little bit of a rebel. It was a perfect fit. Fox McCloud is literally Miyamoto-san's persona. Fact 6. Did you know that Tails from Sonic the Hedgehog did not make his debut in Sonic the Hedgehog 2 for the Sega Genesis? 
Tails' first appearance was actually in the same named game for the Sega Game Gear and Master System. He was kidnapped by Dr. Robotnik at the game's start, and Sonic must rescue him. It's interesting to note that he is prominently featured on the game's box art, yet he's not playable in the game itself. This version of the game came out before the Sega Genesis version, which would make Tails a playable character. The Game Gear version, however, is considered to be Tails' official debut in the Sonic franchise. Fact 7. Did you know that Br'er Fox from Disney's Song of the South was voiced by the actor who was already playing Uncle Remus? James Baskett, who was already playing Uncle Remus and narrating the animated portions of the stories, also played the voice of Br'er Fox. Basket had a habit of playing the character really fast, and as such, some of the mouth movements don't sync up all the way. It is worth noting too that Br'er Rabbit's voice actor, Johnny Lee, was not available for some of the other segments, so Basket filled in for him as well, allowing him to play three distinct characters in the same film. Fact 8. Did you know that one draft of Zootopia was going to have a subplot where Nick Wilde attempts to build his own theme park? The original concept for the story was going to have Predators wear these shock collars to keep them in check, and Nick was going to build his own theme park to cater to Predator needs, and was going to be called Wild Times. The deleted scenes of the Zootopia Blu-ray show him pitching Wild Times to various banks to get a loan, all of which were owned by prey animals. It's quite hilarious to watch these animatics, as well as Jason Bateman's voice acting, to get a feel for how Nick was originally going to be portrayed. Fact 9. Did you know that The Fox and the Hound was a more bleak story than what was eventually put on screen? In the book, Todd the Fox was portrayed as more of a trickster and was never friends with Copper the Hunting Dog. Both characters end up dying at the end of the story and quite obviously, the movie was Disney-fied to make it more of a coming-of-age story between two friends who were destined to grow up to be enemies. Some mischievous elements of the fox in the book stayed with Todd in the movie, such as his propensity to get into trouble with his owner's neighbor. Fact 10. Did you know that in addition to Inspector Carmelita Fox from Sly Cooper being an amalgamation of Salma Hayek and Detective Renee Montoya from DC Comics, she has yet another namesake reference in Sly 2, if you look carefully. In the ending cutscene, when Sly gives himself up to Inspector Fox, and they're flying around in a helicopter, casually talking, one image that's shown is of Carmelita listening to a vinyl record by what appears to be the in-game universe rendition of singer Neil Diamond. Diamond had an album in 1988 titled The Best Years of Our Lives, which had a song called Carmelita's Eyes, which is sung in Spanish, and coincidentally, Carmelita Fox has a Spanish accent. And here's this week's trivia question. We're going back to Zootopia for this one. In Nick's first scene, we memorably see him trying to buy an enormous Jumbo Pop from the Elephant Run ice cream shop. The clerk refuses to let him buy it under the grounds that Nick is a fox, and even displays a sign that says, We reserve the right to refuse service to anyone. This isn't the first time that particular sign has shown up in a movie. So my question to you is, which classic movie, prior to Zootopia, displayed the sign, We reserve the right to refuse service to anyone? And there we go for this week. I hope you enjoyed these fabulous foxy facts. Did you learn anything about these animated animals? If you got any foxy facts you want to share with me for a future list, please go ahead and comment. And please don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and ring the bell for future video notifications. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.